Charles, we've arrived at the moment long shot fans have all been waiting for. Yeah, Brandon, Devin Wade gets his shot to prove himself here tonight. And an interesting setup for this one. Wade's team, they'll only be playing one side of the football. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. He's going to lead his offense in a series of five different scenarios. And let's be clear, it's not just any offense against any defense. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. And the same could be said for the defense. Former NFL player Larry English is out here trying to prove himself tonight in long shot. No doubt that's what's got so many people tuning in right now. Let's go down to the field. Larry, it's good to see you again. But the question everybody wants to know is how does it feel to be out there again today? Man, great, great. I feel, you know, my body's healthier than I've been in a while. And, you know, really at this point, I just want to show people I can still play. Well, listen, this is your shot. This is your chance. This is your opportunity to redeem yourself. Everybody's waiting, and I know they're excited to see you back in uniform, as am I. Good luck out there today. Thank you. Man, I wish I had a jersey to put on. If you want these scouts to buy in, you got to leave it all out there on the field. You've come a long way. It's time to show off to the world. Let's go. Yes, sir, coach. Don't get in your head. Trust your arm, and you'll ace this. All set. Let's run! So, Charles, what are Devin and the guys facing on the first challenge? Well, when we're calling a normal game, we call this four-minute offense. They call this first challenge, put the game away. He's going to start at his 20-yard line with four minutes left on the clock. All right, boys, here we go. All right, come on, eyes on me. Let's go out there and prove to the world that we belong. Well, we definitely belong. I mean, I was all conference with UT, and I know I haven't played it down in the NFL, but uh, we're standing next to a bunch of dudes who have. No, I, I know we do. All right, we just need to prove it to the scouts and to the people back home. Oh, man, I can't wait till one of these dudes comes to me. I'm going to show these guys just how fast a cruise missile really is. <laughs> all right, good. All right, look, these guys have never played together like we have. All right, we've been lining up in this huddle since we were seven years old. Yeah, it feels like old times, doesn't oh, it? You got that right, man. <laughs> What's happening, fellas? Y'all got room for one more? Yeah, uh... <gasps> this is awesome. What? What are you doing here? It's my audition tape, man. I went from playing with Philip Rivers to sitting on my couch. <laughs> you ready to call it quits yet? Hey, I heard you know this long shot, dude. Oh, yeah, I played with this jump back in high school, man. You know that guy that has everything and still whines about it? That's him. Yeah. I've had to work for everything in my life. I'll make some plays tonight. It might be my name to call next week instead of his. Yeah. Hey, you just stay out of my way, all right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, big boy. Come on. All right, Devin, here's the play. Trips right, 34 blast. You got to drive down the field for four minutes without giving the ball back. Run out the clock, and you complete the challenge. Give it back to the other team, you fail. Be careful. They're going to be expecting you to run, so I'm going to mix in plenty of pass plays. That trips right, 34 blasts. Okay, ready? Hey, long shot. You're going to get hit today. So here we go, first play, first challenge. Devin and his teammates need to hold on to the ball for four minutes. And it's not going to be easy because you can't just run basic dive plays and expect to take those four minutes off the clock. You still have to run your offense and take care of the football. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. When you think about all-purpose players, guys who can do it all, protect the passer, run the football, catch out of the backfield, as well as have a ton of patience in his NFL career, because it took him a long time before he became a starter, that's Justin Forsett, one of the fun ones. And that is the first connection of the game from Devin to Cole Cruz. Well, certainly not the first of their careers. These guys have played together most of their lives, so that bond that they've had, it certainly has endured. First and ten, Devin Wade back to pass. To Cole on a slam. 
So they pick up the first and extend the drive. What do you think? What do you expect from the defensive side? Run blitzes, and then run blitzes, and then run blitzes, because they've got to create a play here that makes things negative for the offense and puts them behind the chains, as we like to say, and forces their hand. Wade to throw. Being chased out left. Stops short of the 25. The second effort couldn't free him. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Decent chunk of yardage still left here. Second and seven. Devin will throw. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Big third down. Need to keep the drive alive and keep that clock moving. And this is the challenge within the challenge for Devin Wade. You want to win the overall scenario? But at the same time, make plays that have the scouts write down their book. They like what they see. Hard throw incomplete. Going for it here. No choice. On fourth down, Wade. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And now Charles starting to smell pay dirt as they get closer and closer. Yeah, got a fresh set of downs, don't they? But if I'm them, I'm calling my best play right now. Punch it in. Don't mess around with extra downs. Win the challenge and get off to a great start. Devin drops back. And it's a touchdown. I don't think that that's what the producers really expected when they put this challenge out there. That one puts the game out of reach. Yeah, that technically counts as a win. Nice job. A nice job by Devin Wade on the first challenge, don't you think? Yeah, you know, he did just fine. He got rid of the nerves and showed that he could handle the pressure. But I do think it'll be interesting to see him handle what's coming up because there are a lot of challenges left. Now, here's where guys under center make their money, the two-minute drill. And that is challenging. But all-time greats like Dan Marino and Tom Brady, they've made their bones in moments like this. Let's see how Devin handles it. All right. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. All right, let's go gun. Trips right verticals. All right, let's get everybody deep. Let's get everybody deep. Hey, there better be some looks for me on this drive here, Dev. I mean, we have been waiting for this our whole lives, man. Hey, don't worry. I got you, baby. Let's go. Well, get me, too. I know when people remember. Oh, they're going to remember the cruise missile. Trust me on that. <laughs> All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Ready, break. Go. Who? <laughs> cruise missile? All right, Devin, make smart decisions on this drive. Use the sideline. Conserve the clock. 80 yards to go. First and ten. Watch that clock. Not much time. Throwing to start the drive. Wade. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. So that one falling incomplete brings up second down. But still not the worst thing that could happen to them on offense because that stops the clock. So they go back, they retool, second and ten. Got to get the ball downfield, but at least the clock didn't continue to run. Second and ten. Wade to throw it again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Cook. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. the throw and it's complete and now first down following that long game Wade in the gun over the middle it's Thomas getting close now Charles in the red zone I'm very impressed I think a lot of people didn't expect them to get this far but boy they're operating on pretty high level right now First and 10, Devin Wade drops back. Forced out to his left. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. 
He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. Devin will throw on second down. And that's a touchdown, and that wins the challenge. What a great job on that drive. I know it may look easy on TV, but it certainly was not. They had to drive all the way down the field and score. Really good execution there. Certainly a good job on passing the challenge, but maybe some little things that were a little off there. I think you're right on target with that. Some good, some bad. And the good was that he handled all the big things very, very well. So there are some little things that you see that he needs to clean up, but that's true of every young quarterback, and I expect that to improve over time. All right, now let's go to Dan Marino. He's been part of Devin's long shot team. Dan, I'm curious, were you part of the group that set up these challenges? I was, and I look forward to this one the most. It will test every aspect of Devin's game. Devin will be backed up to the one-yard line and has to drive the team into field goal range with very little time left on the clock. And Dan, I like that these are so difficult. It would be almost unfair to Devin if the show gave him a pass. Let's put him in these tough situations and see how he handles them. Exactly what we're thinking, Charles. You know, I didn't think I'd ever be back here. It's pretty cool, right? <laughs> and maybe for you, these people didn't exactly care for me too much when I left. Oh, it's in the past. Devin Wade, get off the field! Or not. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Wade, you suck! Wade, you suck! Wade, you suck! OK, Devin, this is beyond Wade, difficult. Wade, you suck! I want you to focus on getting out of the end zone and then start working Wade, towards field goal range. Wade, Good luck. All right, first and 10, first play of the drive, challenge three, and they need to get this thing in field goal range quickly. Backed up this deep, be careful. The team of legends, they may want to come after him with a blitz. They find some open field here. Good surge and a nice push, and that gets him close to a first down on that first play. What a nice start, huh? And not only that, he gives that offensive line some confidence. And remember, we can't emphasize it enough. They're not blocking you and me. They're blocking NFL players on the other side, so they've got to feel good after that start. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Oh, the spin. He may try and run for this. And he'll be out of bounds, getting it across the 25. A big time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Now this time he'll look to throw. He throws, and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. So here we go, first and 10 now. Back to throw. Wade. Escaping the pressure right. Dodges him at the 50. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Devin and the guys keep moving closer. Now just seven yards away from completing this challenge. Set blue, 43. Alert, alert. Three out, three out. Check down, check down. On first and 10, Wade. Caught. It's Cruz left side. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So passing the challenge, obviously a good thing. More positives than negatives to take away, I think you would certainly say. I definitely do say that. More positives than negatives. Look, the foundation is there, all right? He's got to increase his overall confidence in his ability to play quarterback. He's got to do that part. We know that. But Jack Ford, he's kick-started the process, and this is just the next step in the evolution of Devin Wade. All right, 
Look, this one's pretty simple. But there's something I want you to try on this challenge. What? Okay, I want you to prove to these scouts that you can play well without Colt. I want you to prove that you can do this on your own. How? Are you, you going to take him out? No. I just want you to complete the challenge without throwing a pass to him. But why? What, what is that even going to prove? Devin, you have relied on Colt your entire life, and it's time for you to show them that you can play well without him. Trust me. This is going to answer a lot of questions that these scouts have about you. Okay. And yeah, no, I'll just, uh, I'll get the other guys more involved. No problem. Hey. This is going to pay off. And I guarantee you, it is going to mean something next week. You right? Yeah, it goes. All right, here we go. All right, let's go single back, 324 rocket, X corner, Z drag. Yo, what's the catch? It seems pretty easy. Okay, the catch is they want me to prove I can drive the ball down the field without Colt's help. What? Well, that's Bush League, man. Who made that decision? Look, man, hey, stop worrying about it. Let's just drive the ball down the field score, all right? All right, here we go. Ready? Time to see if Devin and Co. are ready to go for challenge number four, first and ten. We know that the object is for Devin Wade to move his team downfield without relying on his best friend. How can he maneuver the team without just going back to him on each and every play? So, Charles, Devin Wade, everyone knows him through long shot. Maybe the, only the surface story. What is the backstory? Where did he come from? Well, let's go back to Mathis High School. When he came out, he was the number one quarterback in the country. Five-star recruit, and, and I would say that if they could give a six-star, he would have had it. Had all the tools. If he had been a baseball player, he would have said he was a five-tool kid. Give him 30 yards there. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. First down, Wade over the middle complete. It's Cook. It is go time right now, and Team Longshot cutting it close. To say the least, they obviously need a big play here, and in this situation, is there a chance for them to play a little basketball, go up top and have someone go over the top of everyone else and make a big play? Let's see what they do. Throwing on first down, Wade. Chad Johnson inside the 10. So close now, they can taste it. And his first down and goal to goal. Now, think about this. He's got to come up with a play, Devin Wade does, that involves getting them into the end zone without throwing to his best friend. And you know darn well, his entire life, that's who he looks for first in these situations. And Devin Wade will throw it again. Powers through. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Dude, this isn't just about you. You're not the only one trying to get drafted here. Throw me a bone. Hey, come on, man. You know I wasn't trying to ignore you. I just had to take what the defense was giving me. Yeah, you're right. I'm just freaking out that this might be it for me. Any chance to get noticed can help. Well, we knew the going was about to get tough. Yes, sir. Devin and his crew ran to a buzzsaw on this challenge and have to be reeling a little bit. Great, now it's 
raining. Yeah, let me guess. Yeah, third and 15. Yeah, come on. What, did they fly in Oregon Ducks uniforms for this challenge, too? Come on. I hope not. <sighs> D, just calm down, okay? You spent the last six months getting over that night, and I know you have. Now you just have to show millions of people at home that you have to. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Let's go. So here we go, challenge number five, and the raindrops starting to fall. This is a little eerie. I'm thinking it, I know you are, and I know most people are. This is becoming very reminiscent of that game against Oregon, his final game at UT. You're exactly right. Now that it's starting to come down, that inclement weather is going to either get into his head or he gets out of his head because that last pass he threw that actually counted this exact situation, this exact scenario, he's got to defeat that in order to win this challenge. One play here. Can Devin Wade finally put the demons to rest that have haunted him for the last four years? Let's just get out of the half. Keep it simple. If it's not there, don't force it. Good. Hey, yo, D, we need this. I can beat my guy D. Cold is not the play, man. I know, but if we don't show something here, we might be sitting. Come on, you wanted to dedicate this game to your dad. Let's do it for him. Let's go. I'll be open. No matter what happens, I'm proud of you both. You can't defend a perfect pass. You know, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. Throws to Forsett, who's going to be no way, and he gets free. Forsett with some room. Hey, why aren't you smiling? You made the right decision. That check down's exactly what you're supposed to do on that play. Congratulations. Hey, you know I would have caught that ball, right? <laughs> no, you did the right thing. I'm proud of you, Dev. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, what are you guys waiting for? Get out there. There's still time on the clock. Okay, what are we going to run? Whatever you want. You earned it. <laughs> hey, coach, you got those launch codes? <laughs> Get out there. For the cruise missile? <laughs> Let's do it, baby. Listen to Come you. on, Dad. Let's go. Now the attention shifts to the offense with a minute 30 on the clock. Let's see if they play it safe or come out aggressive. But this is a great opportunity for Wade to change history. If I'm him, I'm not playing it safe at all. I'm cutting it loose. On first and 10, Wade. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Throwing again on second and 10. Wade, and it's complete to Cold over the middle. 23 yards on the play. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. down Wade that's complete right around the eight and he's able to work it here to the eight yard line five yards on the catch there brings up second down and Devin will throw again 
Pastor Cruz is caught for a touchdown. And what a moment for these two long shots. Three, two, one, lift off, baby. <laughs> we did it, boy. <laughs> that was big time, man. I love you, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and Charles, if I'm hearing this correctly, and I think that I am, the Longhorn faithful in the crowd, they're now chanting Wade's name. And for Devin Wade to come back to this stadium in front of these fans and win them over, you know it's something he's been dreaming about. What a special moment. Was I all right? You were way better than all right. You were so great. Wasn't that awesome? <laughs> Stop, man. Julia, I got a little man in a suit named Ross Fontaine. Fountain. Fount it's Fountain. Fountain. He's trying to get backstage. Should I let him back? Absolutely not. I told you. Get, get your hands off me! Hey! Ah. Julia! I know you can hear me! I made you! Get, don't touch me! This, this is cashmere. What's wrong with you? Devin, you better get changed. I'm sure some people would like to talk to you. You put together a great show. I'm proud to be a part of it. Would have been a lost cause without you. You think you'll make it? In the NFL? Well, if he can complete passes like that against that competition, they gotta at least take a look. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ah, let's see what people are saying. Oh, man. That bad? No, not not all of them. <laughs> uh, here, here's one from Yogi Roth. Uh, Some teams are intrigued by hashtag long shot, hashtag Devin Wade. Okay. <laughs> that's good, right? There you go, yeah. Good. Most You're your definitely. own hashtag, man. Come on. Oh, wait, there's, there's more... But others say he's draft kryptonite. Comes with a circus a la Tim Tebow. What? No. Nah, Come man, on. Nah. Yeah, that hurts. Speaking of hurting, Devin Wade ain't worth the hoopla. Play old men all day, but not ready for NFL. Old? <laughs> man, Scuba Steve needs to check himself, man. Yeah. You know what? Just let me, let me find another good one. Is it that hard? I got one. Wade made great choices time and again from the Barry Sanders. What? <laughs> yeah, baby. Are you serious? <laughs> a legend. Oh, and, and this one's from at US Army. Great to see Devin Wade crush the legends on the long shot finale. Hashtag Army Strong. Wow, that's really cool they did that, man. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. From Draft Scout. I haven't finished my official full analysis yet, but early breakdown makes Devin Wade a fifth round Prospect. How about that, baby? <laughs> Money. Hey, oh, so let, me check, let me check this. Money in the bank. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're all at all, man. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, I can call it Chad, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you mind putting your name on here? Selfie. Hey. <laughs> hey, Munch, I want to do that again. Yeah, I think you, your flash was off. Oh, no, it wasn't. I'm just saying. <laughs> just listen. Yeah. No. Can you sign that for me? Yeah, you got to give me a pen. I don't have a pen on me. Hey, man, you like ribs? What kind? Any? Mr. Senko? Is it o Ocho? Chad? Mr. Senko? I mean, you just called me a five. Mr. Johnson? Five. Yeah, yeah he just called me Senko. You just called me a five. Like, that's, hey, five. That's like that's a middle man. man. Oh, it's all to get. I'm sorry. Hey, Chad, I don't think you're old at all, man. Uh, yeah, speaking of which, uh, I can call it Chad, right? Hey, Devin, this is Kirk Cousins. Love you on the show. But I have just one question How could you not throw to Colt? Hey, Devin, this your boy Josh Norman. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Hey, don't worry about them haters. But, hey, I am looking forward to you coming to the league so I can pick six your tail and ride Delta all the way home off your air and throw. <laughs> oh, man, some girl just wrote, I only watched Longshot for Colt. Why do they spend so much time on Devin? Hashtag not my long shot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, give me that, man. Uh -oh. Hey, man. How's she look? <laughs> oh. 
Pretty cute. Man, let me shut that nonsense down, man. Hey, man, I'm hungry. Why don't we get some grub? Come on. Oh, what else is new? Muntz is hungry. Hey, why you gotta make fun of me? <laughs> man, eat, Colt. Greedy. Oh, come man, on. Man, eat. Let's go. You're Let's right. You're already overweight. <laughs> it's my thyroid, Ocho Cinco. Come on, man. You of all people should respect the thyroid. Hey, yo, coach. Hey, I'm fixing to head back to Mathis. Hey, uh, actually take a seat for a minute. Yeah? So the reaction from the media and the scouts is, has been pretty positive. But the problem is, is they aren't the people who make the ultimate decisions. Meaning what? Meaning that I've been talking with the GMs and the coaches across the league, and right now you're, you're looking at a third or fourth string quarterback. consensus of the coaches is that as a backup you may not be worth the distraction the show brings so it's over no. not over it's just it's not looking great you know when this all started man, I wasn't sure I could do this or even if I wanted to <laughs> and now that I know what I want it's like like, long shots, the thing that's just the thing that got me here. It's the thing that's holding me back. Man, I know. I'm sorry. Man, me too. You know, truth is, <laughs> Coach, I do the whole thing all over again. Thanks for picking me up when I was down. I really appreciate it. My pleasure, Devin. So you stay in touch and you let me know what's happening? You got it, Coach. like a woman. You hear me? Hmm. All right. You know what I'd like to see today? This kid, Devin Wade, get drafted. And you know why? Because I think when you get to the later rounds of the draft, you look for special stories, special kids. And I think this kid has it. Listen, I've been on a lot of USO tours. And I see the things that make these kids up. We talk about commitment, determination, courage. I think this kid has it. Get into a camp. Give him a chance. Because I think what you see is a special kid with a special skill set. And I think he'll embrace the opportunity. You got that? Oh, thanks, boy. Rich Eisen, along with Charles Davis... How you feeling, brother? I'm good. Better than that soon. Today's the day. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we will. Where's Cole? Huh? All right. I got him. I mean, I had to go all the way into Austin, but I, I got him. Pretzels. No. No, hats. Two from each NFL team. You know, for when we get drafted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what a complete waste of money. So what's it going to be, Dev? Huh? Are we going to be Cowboys, huh? Or maybe Seahawks? <laughs> I think I look pretty good in neon. <laughs> Dude, I will wear pink if that means we get drafted. I'll take the test. Hey, 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 hands off. These are for draft picks only. <laughs> All right. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> popcorn? All right. Yeah. Let's do it. You want some? Yeah, man. I want All popcorn right. and I want pretzels now, too. Start with the bowl game against Nebraska. He was terrific. Then get into hey, the Dev. Yo, when the I hate to miss this, man, but Jess is going to go nuts if I don't take the kids off her hands. Oh, yeah, no problem, man. All right, man, with the fifth round, you're around. Oh, thanks, brother. All right, brother. Hey, cool. I'll say it if nobody else will. Any team that hadn't picked you already is a dang fool. <laughs> thanks, Coach. I'll tell you what. 
Four QBs went off in the first four rounds. All the top prospects are off the board. It's lining up perfectly. Welcome back to our draft coverage. Here's the last five. Well, while we were gone, Howard Wilson became the latest member of the Cleveland Browns we saw. And uh, look who the Cleveland Browns, uh, uh, pardon me, the Detroit Lions just selected. How about that? Tredarius Johnson, the quarterback what? out of Kentucky. We I can't believe Tredarius Johnson got picked before D. He got kicked off long shot. shot. All right, fellas, that's it. Call me when you're drafted. I'm sure it'll work out just fine. Thanks, Coach. Bye, Coach. With only five picks left here in the fifth round in the NFL draft of 2017, Devin Wade of long shot fame. Yes, that QB remains undrafted. I am hearing whispers, though, that he's likely to go late in the sixth round. <laughs> so we're, uh, Y'all hear that? We're waiting for the green well, it ain't happened yet. Out. Pretty cool, and right? Comes Minnesota, Jacksonville, Seattle before the Los Angeles teams go back to back. Oh, man, I really hope it's true. Let's oh, I know it is. <laughs> A roster of 53 each week, right? Well, guess what, guys? We're 24 picks into the sixth round. The Houston Texans are on the clock. Do you feel the long shot experiment is a failure if Devin Wade doesn't get drafted? You know, I take issue with that question. There is no reason that a young man giving his all should ever be seen as a failure. To answer the question that you should have asked, I have faith that Devin's going to be drafted. And with the 28th pick of the seventh round, the Baltimore Ravens select Monty Dugans, cornerback, Florida State. It's not going to happen. No, it is going clock. to happen. Just After trust me, D. Down. There are only four From picks left. Yeah, but three of those teams need a QB. Earlier today, so the Kansas City Chiefs have been wheeling See? And <laughs> I told you. To oh, never mind. It's just geese. Basically, they kept their just draft kidding. Intact yeah. Give me that. Hello, this is Devin Wade. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank, thank you. Who was it? Excuse me, may I have this one? I, I don't ordinarily do this, but this one is pretty personal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with the 29th pick in the seventh round of the NFL draft, the Houston Texans select, yes, he made it, folks, from long shot, Devin Wade, quarterback yes! from the University of Texas. I told yeah! you! I told you, boy! I told you! <laughs> oh, man. I just can't believe this. Oh. So proud of you, Dev. Yeah, man! Woo! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, we know a lot of teams kick the tires on Devin Wade, but that connection to long shot probably scared a few teams off. We know it'll be an uphill battle, but for now he's on an NFL roster, and that was something that seemed unimaginable just a few months ago. Yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. We most of us expected they would take the quarterback. <laughs> I told you, man. Yes. All right. Now. Your daddy is going to be so proud. <sighs> yeah, I think so, too. You did it, Dev. You did it. Let's celebrate. Come on, man. <sighs> With the 30th pick of the seventh round of the NFL draft, Baltimore Ravens select. Cocoos. Oh, I love this kid's name. Wolverine Justice, linebacker, University yeah, of Michigan. I'm not going to get my hopes up. Really gifted. He's got a long way to go with core strength and learning how to play the game, but he's got some upside. And I like hey, man, there's still two picks left. Come on. At least one of us made it. All right, that's what counts. And with the 31st pick of the seventh round, the Seattle Seahawks select DeAndre Poole, defensive back, UCF. Yeah. Okay. That's a position of D. That's okay. Hey, hey, dude. Lots of guys get signed after the draft, man. Somebody's gonna call. Dev. Come on, man. Stop. This is your moment. Okay? Enjoy it. Thanks, brother. Yes, sir. All right, man. I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah.
Devin Wade at the line for the final play of the game. It's fourth in a mile. It's the biggest moment of your life. <laughs> Devin. Tell us what you're feeling right now. <laughs> Just trying to stay in the moment. Listen, we've all seen this story before. This kid comes from nowhere, this crazy story, but yet here he is, landing himself with the greatest opportunity of a lifetime. But now what happens? Can he handle the pressure? Can he handle all the things that go with this? And does this become the stepping stone for the next chapter of his life? That's what I can't wait to see. So much in this world make me believe. Stay with me. You're all I see. I didn't mean. To, oh shoot! Oh, I did it again. I'm so late, man. I, hey, I gotta run. But dinner tonight, okay? Yeah, you got and, it. And you're paying. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Moneybags. Oh. Shoot. My keys. See ya. All right, bud. I haven't given you anything to be proud of for a while, but that's all going to change now. <laughs>